So good day, I'm Miles Chambers. I'm the Director of Business Development uh, for Platforms and Systems Cluster here at Edge. So uh, under the uh, ADASI, uh, which falls within the Platforms and Systems Cluster here at Edge, we've launched at IDEX uh, two new unmanned ground vehicles. This is expanding ADASI's long uh, history in doing uh, UAVs and expanding this now into the unmanned vehicle market. So we've uh, launched two uh, platforms, uh, the Scorpio family, uh, the Scorpio S uh, is a 300 kilogram UGV with a 150 kilogram payload, really used for internal security, counter-terrorism, hostage scenarios, where the platform can be configured for a number of different operations, from EOD operations, uh, it integrates a ultralight remote weapon station with the 556 weapon that was in-house de uh, developed in, in collaboration with Helcon. Uh, to be able to uh, give counter fire uh, in, a, in a hostile environment. So the full in-house design and development has been done uh, by, uh, by the team at Adasi uh, with full autonomous drive, integrating uh, LiDAR cameras, uh, acoustic sensors, which can give us localization of uh, targets and potential areas of threat inside a building. A uh, robotic arm, which uh, can be used for manipulating objects, uh, doing EOD operations, uh, and integrating a cutting disc in the front, which can be used to remove obstacles like a pole. So the, the, ve the vehicle platform also has uh, two um, uh, extendable uh, arms, uh, tracked arms, which give it the ability to climb up stairs as well as being uh, specifically designed uh, with a width of 890 millimeters that allows us to move through uh, standard doorways. So really designed for interior operation um, in, in building environments and that and being able to navigate through those spaces. The other platform in the range is the Scorpio M, which is a, a, a mini UGV platform that can be used and deployed in uh, for special operations, for frontline forces, uh, such as uh, infantry, to give early situational awareness. Before breaching a building, you can deploy this inside the building to give, you, to give the operative situational awareness. So it integrates uh, front and rear camera, acoustic sensors to give you uh, noise localization. Uh, and some of the unique features is uh, Unlike other platforms in this uh, category, we've opted for a wheeled platform um, with uh, uh, really focusing on the uh, noise signature. So this operates at uh, below 48 decibels, which means that um, that's be below ambient room uh, noise. So very silently being able to uh, um, you know, do its uh, surveillance activities. Um, even though it is a wheeled uh, platform, we've integrated uh, flipper arms onto this uh, together with a, a, a track system um, that allows you to also do uh, stair, stair climbing. So it gives you a lot of options and mobility. It's man portable. Um, the ground control station for both the Scorpio S and M is universal, so it can be used to control either. Whilst on the M, we also have a man portable ground control station that you can use this out in the field. Oh, great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. project it's a, it's a team project between a Dasi company and number company where we had to convert the vehicle from a man vehicle to unman vehicle uh, for both vehicle and weapon for a, for a range up to 12 uh, kilometers uh, as you can see here uh, we have the both RCs one for the vehicle and the other one is for the RC yes as you can see uh, we add we had to make sure that most of the major uh, functions are integrated in the RC. For example, the steering, the throttle, brake, gear, engine. We have the dashboard showing on the RC to make sure that we don't run out of gas. We know the heat of the vehicle and other minor things. Uh, we integrated a day and night visual system mm -hmm. where the gunner RC or the shooter RC is the exact same uh, RC that, we, that the shooter has inside the vehicle.
So if he uses this RC from far away, mm -hmm. he will not be confused uh, uh, from like a new system or a new uh, uh, controller. This is the same one, same buttons, same uh, structure. If he was uh, 120, it's a German made. Oh, great. Yes, and uh, it's a 12.7 uh, caliber mm -hmm. with uh, 300 ammunition. The main purpose of this project is mm -hmm. to control the vehicle, vehicle and the uh, RWS the first step from, for from farm development. Okay. Yes. At the same time, we did not remove the mine function, so you still mm -hmm. can drive it by yourself. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, it's both uh, ways. It's oh, either mine and mine.